In this video, we'll talk about batch traceability. Now, to actually use a batch traceability form, there's many locations where you can use this functionality. You can see here I've already got my form open because I'm starting it from the menu under batches in the item master. It could be a function on the within the cockpit itself. If we're looking at it from a complaint perspective, we could uh, look at batch traceability from the complaint form itself by just doing right mouse, cl mouse, mouse click and we can see batch traceability there. Um, another alternative might be to just go to the uh, uh, additional batch details record. Let's pull up a transaction here and again we can do batch traceability. So there's many locations where you can do uh, and run the batch, tra batch traceability process. So I just selected my, my item here, my, uh, my batch number my list of batches. This will now display this in a graphical Gantt chart. Um, and what we're seeing here is the top end. This is one of my product espresso. We've got some information here about the uh, the quantity that was produced for this particular batch with expiry date and the batch number. And if we go backwards, we can see that this item was uh, produced from another produced product, made product, which was um, something called East African. And we use a quantity of 45. Again, this in batch details. Um, we can also go see that this product was also made from a manufacturing order that made uh, Ground Central, which also made a manufacturing order for roasting, and then obviously a purchase item here called uh, for green beans. And then there's another item here which is uh, um, South American. We can obviously move these things around um, to make it easier to have a look at. Now that's one thing in terms of visualization, which is great. The next question is what about transactions? So and how to look at transactions by just clicking on the right mouse button on the box itself, the form comes up showing all the transactions associated with this batch. So very easily we can see all the ins and outs of this particular batch associated with this item. So we have the goods receipt from the manufacturing order, so we can drill down into the manufacturing order itself and uh, view the uh, all the different documents. Um, and transactions and the format of the uh, manufacturing order, you know, so we can see all of that information. Uh, but just going to the uh, documents section, we have all of the transactions associated to that, and then we can see the the items that were consumed, and then the manufacturing process. So we've got all the information we need at our fingertips in terms of how the product was made, and then we have the delivery showing then all the list of the customers this item went to. Um, in terms of what was picked and went out and also what came back in again. So for example we can show all the things like returns, um, credit notes and uh, also uh, QC test. So we basically uh, are able to pull everything together which is associated with an item um, in terms of all the transactions. If I just close that now and go to let's say to my item here, my Green Central, I can just click on this again and this shows me um, all the activity, all the transactions for this particular product. Um, so we can see where it was purchased in terms of the, um, the purchase transaction. So we've got a purchase goods receipt so we know where it came from and it was purchased. Um, and then we have then the, uh, the goods issue transaction in terms of how much went in to make a product. And then we have a stock transfer uh, and a QC test as well. So again we have all the information now one of the questions we need to ask ourselves is okay so we went that's a backward trace so we checked this item and it showed me everywhere where it went to but let's reverse this so if I just do um, press control and right mouse button this will now do an automatic forward trace so for my forward trace I can then see that um, um, the item which we're just looking at was actually went through a manufacturing process of roasting um, ground grinding it went and made one particular batch of uh, 97 and never a batch number of, of 100 on the same day. So this is a good example of going forward and then finding out the information. And if I just click on here, we can then see the, uh, the goods receipt transaction from the manufacturing order. Now you may be asking yourself, what do these, these icons mean? Well, the, the, yellow, the, the red, sorry, the green arrow means that, uh, yep, yeah, this batch is okay. And the cross means that, um, there is an issue with this item. So if I just do shift control, I can look at the uh, batch number itself, the batch transaction, and just going into the uh, business one batch item now, you can see that there's a code here called non-accessible. 
So by having non accessible, basically shows this item is cross. If I have it as locked, then it'll be a different icon. So when you change these um, icons, let's change it to locked. Let's do press OK and let's, let's just uh, go back and let's press OK and let's do a refresh. You can see that the icon has changed. So it's very dynamic in terms of how you change your information within Business One. And that's a good example of, uh, of the process force batch traceability function.